Tom Best, and I am a follower of Jesus. Um, I was raised in the Catholic Church to believe in God the Father, Jesus, His only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. I was raised with a system of tradition and ritual where the laws of the church were governed by the Pope, the bishops, and the priests. I have gone through the motions of baptism as an infant, First Holy Communion as a child, and catechism as a young adult. I grew up believing that I am a good person, with the ability to decipher between right and wrong, where my own set of values will guide me and I will be able to avoid sin. However, as a young adult, my path has always seemed convoluted in fear and despair. I started down a path where roadblocks in my life have prevented me from accomplishing my goals. Some of these roadblocks were relational driven, while others were monetarily driven. Uh, either way, these, these were the times where despair set in and bouts of depression and fear took over. Alcohol, drugs, and one night stands became normal. Cycles of self-loathing, aggravation, and resentment would play out as I struggled to get through college, advance my career, or build relationships. During this period of my life, my faith in the church became non-existent and my, any relationship with Jesus I believed was severed. Um, at the age of 25, I woke up and realized that I've accomplished nothing. My friends completed their degrees, were starting careers and their families of their own. And here I was at the a college dropout with three part-time jobs and a list of bars that I could visit with nothing to show for my accomplishments. It was at this point in my life where I started finding tracks lying around about being saved. So I took up these tracks and I started asking, you know, are you saved? What does it mean to be saved? Where will you be in the afterlife? What judgments will you face? Honestly, I didn't buy into these tracks. Um, I did go to church and I did pray. Dear Lord, please help me. I need Jesus in my life to guide me and to free me from my own stupidity. Shortly thereafter, everything just seemed to fall into place. I quit drinking. I took on a promotion at job which allowed me to get rid of the part-time jobs. I bought my first vehicle and I started building honest relationships. I have learned over the years that nothing will go as I planned. I have dealt with many challenges as a step-parent with MS, ADHD, PKU, job issues, unfulfilled promotions, and many other life twists that have been presented to me. But Jesus has a way of always putting everything in place once I had learned to just ask for help. Today he has led me to Restored, where I have realized my relationship with Jesus is not through ritual, but through my faith. That it is he who lives in me. My life has changed because I have accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. He has given me the ability to concentrate on my spiritual growth, the relationship that I have with my wife and children, and my career. I have realized that my life may be a flesh and bone who lives in sin, but that through Jesus I am free of sin because my faith is in Him. Tom, have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus alone to save you? I do. Based on your profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.